Pulse Live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly with your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Well, hey there, everybody. It's Wednesday here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, and welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. Y'all know my... Wait a minute. Where did he go? Oh, <laughs> there he is. He's way off over there. <laughs> Look at that. Bugsy does move around once in a while. <laughs> November the 1st, 2023. And I hope your Wednesday is going well. Thanks so much for joining me. We turn once again today to the book Truth for Life, the second volume of Pastor Alistair Begg's collection of daily devotions. It's copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. If you really fulfill the royal law according to Scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. James 2, verse 8. The last time you said you loved someone or something, what did you mean? In our age, we often equate love with a certain emotional experience, and people declare love based on how they feel. It's no surprise, then, that the idea of acting lovingly out of a sense of duty sounds strange to some people. Surely, if an action is dutiful, it cannot be done out of love. The book of James offers quite a different view of the relationship between love and duty. When James wanted to summarize the law of God, he did so with the words, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The law, in other words, is fulfilled by love. We must therefore make it a priority to understand what love is and what it is not. James did not mean that the law is fulfilled when we feel a certain way about our neighbors. Anyone who has read the book of James, or much of the Bible at all for that matter, knows this cannot be the case. For one thing, the Ten Commandments, which are the heart of the Old Testament law, say very little about how we ought to feel and quite a lot about how we ought to act. The commands against murder, adultery, lying, and stealing are aimed directly at our actions. And laws like these, said James, can be summarized as love your neighbor. How do we love our neighbor then? By doing the right thing. Consider also the significance of James' phrase, as yourself. How often do any of us feel really great about ourselves and find ourselves truly and wholly lovely? Rarely, I would guess. And yet, despite how we feel about ourselves, we most likely see to it that we are cared for. Our love for others ought to be in this way as well. The absence of emotional intensity does not excuse us from obedience in love. This does not mean that the right response is to be content with a cold heart as long as we are gritting our teeth and doing the right thing. We should want our affections toward others to match our action, and we ought to pray toward that end. But we should also understand the role our emotions play in love. Emotions make a great servant, but a very poor master. They can serve us in doing the right things, but they cannot be our guide for what we should and should not do. In fact, sometimes, It is only once we have decided to act in love that our feelings catch up. So pray today for your affections to be pleasing to God and for you to fulfill his royal law as you act in love toward your neighbors, your family, your friends, all those around you by obeying him. For more on this, go to the New Testament book of James, chapter 2, verses 8 through 17. Father, Scripture teaches us that you are love, and therefore, if we want to know the nature of love, we look to you. Help us to understand more deeply that love which is not expressed is useless. 
Help us, Father, to love those that we do not have affection for because it is what you have told us to do. In this, we will represent you well. Thank you for this, Father. Thank you for the teaching from your word today. And bless us on this Wednesday, we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Depot. Once again, I thank you all for joining me. And I want to invite you to join us tonight as First Congregational Church goes live. It's Wednesday, so it's time for Wednesday night live stream tonight, 7 p.m. on both Facebook and YouTube. You can hook up with us in either platform. A little conversation, a little prayer, and a little Bible study, and you're all invited. Hope you can join us. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.